Sound resume. Microphone activated. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Reason Gaming TV. My name is Kyanite, and uh, with me today is Chewy. Yeah, hello. Good evening, or good afternoon, everybody. How are you doing, Kyanite? I know you've not been feeling too well recently, and that makes two of us. Are you feeling okay? Are you any better from your flu bout recently? Um, I think I'll hang in there. I just need to turn you up a little bit on TeamSpeak. Yeah, everything, anything for the uh, CSGO community <laughs> that well, we all love. I can see love. already a riot has let out in the in the chat pretty much as soon as we go live. So uh, it's uh, interesting. Apparently something to do with CSGO Lounge and bots is going on at the minute. So uh, hopefully the chat will calm down in a few seconds. Yeah, fingers crossed. Um, the word that I've received from the admins is that we are going to go live in about... 60 to 50 seconds, so fingers crossed, guys. Um, but yeah, some of you guys may know me from the Gfinity CSGO streams. Chewy, I think, wants to introduce himself as well. Yeah, so uh, I'm pretty sure that 95% of the people in this chat, if not more, probably haven't even heard me before, don't know who I am. I'm probably going to be saying in the chat, who the hell is this guy talking? Um, I'm new to Counter-Strike, I've been playing for a couple of months, so I'm very new to the scene, but uh, I've been commentating overall and casting for about a year or so now, and uh, I'm looking to make a move into uh, an esports which I love. I've pretty much become obsessed with Counter-Strike in the past few months, and I thought I'd try my hand at commentating, so please feel free to give me any feedback, any constructive criticism, but try and be as nice as possible, because uh, I'm trying my best for you guys. I've only been at, well, this is my second ever game casting Counter-Strike, so it should be an interesting one, but I hope you enjoy it all the same, and I hope it's still some good content for you all. Yeah, let me know, guys, whether my mic now sounds uh, a lot better. Here we go, looks like we are going to go live. It's uh, Navi versus Hellraisers, and of course, we know the history between these two sides. Markaloff now plays for Navi, and he, of course, used to play with, um, uh, where are they? Zeus, Gar uh, Zeus, Edward, and uh, Starix back in the CS 1.6 Navi days. So there's one heck of a rivalry going on here, Chewie. Yeah, it should be a good one indeed. So looks like we've got the first round coming in. Let's see what's going to happen right off the start. Knives are going to be the name of the game at the second. We'll see who's going to be able to get those first couple of picks and see what's going to happen. Who's going to be your predictions for this one then, Kai Knight? Because there's a lot of people in the chat saying that they want Navi to win this one. In all honesty, I want Navi to win because I put a few weapons on Navi uh, on CSGO Lounge um, for their match against Clan Mystic. So I think if they were to go and win this game, it would give them the momentum to win the game on Inferno versus Clan Mystic. Realistically speaking, I've just got a funny feeling that it's Hellraiser's game to take. However, we know how important the knife round is. It lets teams choose what round, what 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 half, sorry, they want to start on, whether they want to start as counter terrorists or terrorists. And in this case, Navi won the knife round, and it looks like they've chosen to stay. Yep, they have indeed. So just to run through the rosters, I'm sure, again, pretty much all of you are aware of which uh, people are in these rosters, but we'll go through them anyway. So it's Guardian, Zeus, Edward, Starix, and Seized for the Navi lineup. And then over on Hellraisers, you've got Angel, Dosia, Markalov, Kutcher, and Adren as well. So it should be a good match. We are, of course, on Mirage. Hopefully it's going to be a fun one. We hope you all are going to be able to enjoy it. And it looks like we're into the pistol round already live. Yeah, people saying they want a mic to be lowered. Let me know whether if it's my voice you want lowered, say Kyanite in the chat. If it's Chewy you want lowered, say Chewy. But let's focus on the game for now. Zeus is going to place that smoke near that uh, A-side connector as Edward is uh, looking at a wall at the moment. Whatever floats your boat, Mr. Edward. We know what these uh, boys are capable of. Let's see whether they're going to live up to their to their own standards, which they, of course, set themselves and deliver the goods. Markaloff is waiting at mid. A very very, very patient build-up from Hell uh, Hellraisers, and uh, let's wait and see whether they they genuinely are going to raise Hell. Right, people keep saying Kyanite, so I have reduced my mic. Let me know if you still need me to reduce it. And there is First Blood, Edren. Oh no, they've walked past Guardian, the Source Legend in the flesh, and he could not get that second kill as Edward comes with two USP kills. Is he going to get the hat trick? You know what, Chewie? He most certainly is. Great start coming in there from Edward already, impressing, managing to pick up three kills so far. The bomb has been planted though, so you just got to watch out for this last player. It is going to be Kutcher left alive in a 1 versus 3. Manages to take down Zeus to 5 XP. Not going to matter though. Bomb defuse comes in as well, and what looked like a great start from Hellraisers was completely turned around there. Great work coming in from Edward with the three kills. 1-0 to Navi. Right, I've turned my mic down even more. It's literally on two bars out of ten. 
Um, so apologies if it is really, really loud. Hopefully it will be better because there's some people trolling now saying lower the mic. But you know what? I don't care about the chat at the moment. Navi, the team that most of you guys wanted to win this game, is finally in the lead. And of course, because they are the CT side, they won that pistol round. It gives them weapons. So Seized has that lovely Asimov M4 as the rest of the terrorists prepare to push one of these two bomb sites there at mid. They will spot Zeus, but Zeus will dispose of Dozia with ease. And Edward will peek out mid. He's going to get one. And we know what he can do. And that's a lovely headshot from him before Angel shuts him down. Over to you, Chewie. Yeah, so Mark, I've the last one left alive. And as soon as I do say that, he does get taken out by Guardian. Headshot right into his forehead there. So 2 0 it is to Navi. And having a look at the scoreboard already, you can see Edward 5 and 1 with one assist. Already two MVP stars to his name. So great start coming in for him. And Seized and Star X haven't even got a kill to their name yet for the Navi squad. And they're still 2 0 up. So heading into the third round now, it looks like the Hellraisers are actually going to go for a buy here. So this could be quite a crucial round for them. We'll see if they are going to be able to pick anything off. But Guardian gets the initial pick. With his all taking down Angel, Edward's going to push forward, gets his sixth kill of the game onto Markalov. Navi looking very, very strong right now. This could already spell trouble for the Hellraiser squad unless they could do something big. They have got three AK-47s, they've got a couple of grenades in their bank as well, and full head armor. So we'll see if they can make anything of this tight situation. The only player who's actually taken damage for Navi so far in this round is Edward and he's still got 48 HP to his name, so we'll see if Hellraisers are going to be able to take this one back. But already, strong start, as we could have predicted for Navi here. Yeah, Hellraisers have gone for the early buy. They've still got three AK-47s. We know how powerful that weapon is. So let's see whether Hellraisers can put it to a good use. Oh, he's just spotted a Dren there, and he's going to throw that Molotov down. And are we going to have barbecued a Dren tonight? He's still hanging on to a thread. He's going to push out, and there we have it. Hellraisers open up this smaller B bomb site. And the flashes will go out. Another shot from Adren. And what was a three versus five is now three versus two. Guardian is going to peak with his orb. Guardian with the headshot. And how many times have we seen him do that in Counter Strike history? Dozier all alone. Last man standing. He's got the bomb on his back. And is Edward going to peak? He most certainly is. 3 0. Hellraisers. They went for that early buy. And it didn't pay off for them. No, it didn't pay off for them indeed, and they almost brought it back, you know, having a look at the man advances, it was 5 versus 3, and then uh, we thought they were going to be able to bring it back, Hellraisers there, but unfortunately they're not going to be able to buy this round, we've got a couple of, well, four C said 75s, one P2000 in the mix as well there, of course, Navi still with a lot of money in the bank, full buy going on for them, as you would predict, of course, 3 it is the score, as you can see at the top of your screen. So, Dozier, is he going to be able to get this first pick? Tries to get some shots down there. He's going to be able to take out Guardian. That's a great start. That's what they needed. Is Zeus going to be able to counteract that? It looks like he's going to put some damage into a player there. That was Dozier. I do believe Dozier is actually down to 12 HP already. Angel's going to be moving around the back right to their spawn in the second. Seeing if anybody's going to be coming from the flank very quickly. Edward still up in his top window position right now. I do apologise if I get any call-outs wrong, guys. As I say, I am new to Counter-Strike. I am still learning. So take it easy on me. But having I mean, a look at the situation. Still a four on four. And Kutch has actually been able to pick up that orb, which Guardian dropped. Yeah, with 50 seconds and counting. Hellraisers, if they want to get their first round on the board, if they want to get that bomb down, they've got to put their Nike shoes on. They've put, got to put their trainers on. They've got to get running. And by the looks of things, they're going all the way back round towards this B bomb site from what we can see. All thanks to good old X-Ray and Seized. is holding the angle and Seized will seize the moment and get what will be an important kill for him and his team. They know Hellraisers are on this B side of the map and with 25 seconds to go I don't think they're going to do much Chewy. No, I don't either. So we will see if they are going to be able to push through apartments here. Seized throws that frag grenade up to the top. He's still aiming with his Asimov M4. He's going to be able to pick up one. Dodgy is in there with 12 HP. Is he going to get the second? Just manages to spray him down. I mean, the Dren's the last one left alive. The three comes in there. Four seized. Great work coming in from him. Managing to finish off the rest of that Hellraiser squad. Navi extending their lead to 4-0. And the chat is just going absolutely crazy right now. We've got 3,700 viewers. Thank you so much for the support, guys, already. This is exactly me and Kai and I were hoping for. We hope we were going to be able to give you a good show. Navi are giving us a good show here. Let's see if they can continue that motivation. Starting off on the T-Squad, though, although we are going to switch over to Edward Autodirect, just deciding to troll me there as soon as I did say that. He's going, going to be taking down a 65 HP already off the start. But let's see if Hellraisers can get that first run on the board because you really, you know, for their situation, if Navi are going to start to pull away with this on the CT side and get 5-0 up, 
it's really going to be a tricky one to come back for. But, you know, Hellraisers are a strong squad. You can never cut them out. Yeah, Caesar's playing that B-bomb site to perfection. And Zeus just might be in trouble. He's up against one of his old teammates. But he will get two kills. And Starix, hello, he's going to come round the corner. And is it going to be a uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy round for Navi? They look strong, very strong. Edward will drop Adren. And Dozier, he's on 9 HP. And Guardian will do what Guardian does best and finish him off. 5-0 the score. And uh, who would have well, who would have expected this, Chewy? Five yeah, nil. Well, I mean, having a look at the score already, there, Edward nine kills to his name, only one death in the entirety of five rounds. Markaloff and Kutcher not having the best of starts. They've always been two players that have kind of stood out to me in certain respects in the little Counter Strike that I've watched over the last few months. But Norton five for both of them, only an assist coming in there for Markaloff, so not the strong start that they wanted. They have been able to buy. All five AK-47s for them. You've got a couple of grenades in the mix as well. All got head armor. So this should be a stronger round, obviously, than the last one with only pistols in the mix in that last one. So we'll see if they are going to be able to get that number one on the board and get the first round. But Zeus actually is starting to maybe get a tiny bit aggressive there. It's going to be interesting to see if he pushes through. See, he's already starting to push through apartments there to see if he can see anybody throwing that smoke grenade for a distraction as well. But nobody going to be pushing him at the minute unless Markalov's going to challenge soon. But having a look at this, Zeus, he's getting quite aggressive here on the defensive side. Let's see if he's going to be able to find Doshia and Angel here. He does find one. Got to get the headshot. Does get the second one. Sorry, that was Starix who managed to pick up the second one. Great teamwork coming in. And it's already a 5 on 3 once again in favour of Navi. Yeah, Hellraisers, they keep going one or two men behind. They're far too defensive. They're terrorists. They need to start terrorizing their opposition. And Navi, we know the quality Zeus possesses with his rifles. You can't let the CTs just push out the bomb sites like that. That is not the name of the game. And here we go. Guardian is in the right place at the right time as he gets his first frag of the round. And by the looks of uh, where Auto Director is now pointing, or maybe not, Markaloff is at mid, and it's surely only going to be a consolation. Yes, it is. 6 0 the score, and so far, absolute bombardment from Navi. Yeah, bombardment is pretty much uh, the best adjective to use in that situation there. Great work. And I, l I have to admit, I love the pun about terrorists and terrorizing. That was quick work there. That was a great work, kind of. I'll give you that one, even though you are ill. And again, another eco coming in here. Pistols all across the board. For Hellraiser, so it looks like they're not even going to be able to take the seventh round here unless they can do something pretty miraculous. Again, four CZ75s, one P2000 for Adren at the bottom, four buys as usual that you would predict in this situation for Navi. And you can see C's just happy enough to completely spray down with his Asimov there to see if he can pick up anybody. So Adren, man on the screen, going to get taken down to two HP. Is he going to be able to pick up somebody? No, he doesn't. He gets taken out there by Molotov. Edward is going to be able to pick up two. That's Kutcher and Doshia going down. 5 on 2 situation, Edward's been taking down the 10 HP but it's not going to matter too much as Angel is the last one left alive, they pretty much know where he is, the bomb's down in apartments and he's just getting absolutely surrounded, have a look at that map, 5 blue dots absolutely all over, Zeus is going to finish him off, 7 who is the score and I mean you know if you're in Hellraiser situation right now what are you going to do, they are able to buy in this round but they're in a really tricky spot, 7 0 down here on the T side of Mirage, they've got a long road to come back from already if now they're going to keep up this momentum. Yeah, the issue yeah. is now the Hellraisers, they've barely got any money, whilst the CTs, they've got an entire bank in their back pockets. Even if Navi went on to lose their first round of the map, they wouldn't care. They've got plenty of cash to carry on and try and win this game. Angel is going to push short, and is that the spark that Hellraisers need to raise hell on this bomb site? Dozier with the headshot, and finally a sign of intent from Hellraisers. The bomb has to go down on this bomb site sometime soon before the CTs rotate, of course. And there we go, 35 seconds until the bomb detonates. And Angel is going to hold and play it cool, calm and collective at the back of uh, the truck. Dozier's peeking into kitchen and it's just, you know, a game of cat and mouse now. The T's, they need to remain patient. Starks is going to push short. He's going to spot one, but Kucha is too good for him. Four versus two. Zeus will get, surely, what's only going to be a consolation. Edren says, yes, Zeus, I'm not going to let you defuse the bomb. And now, the terrorists getting out of the way. The bomb's about to blow. And Hellraisers finally have their first round on the board. 
Seven and that's much better, yeah. I mean, I've got to say, that's much better. That's easily the most impressive round that they've played so far. Of course, they're going to be able to buy up again. And Navi still with a lot of money in the bank. I mean, Edward right now, he's, he's still yet to buy. But, you know, even with pretty much everything, he's still got about $11,000 or so in there. So great money for both sides coming into this one. So we'll see if Hellraisers are going to be able to keep up that momentum from their first round on the board there in the eighth round. And are they going to be able to do some work in the ninth round? About to find out. Angel here using his AK-47 in the middle to see if he can pick up anybody seized as usual playing that apartment's position. Going to be pushing forward once again. Gets taken down to 68 HP from a frag grenade. Still no picks coming in overall and Doshia is just below Guardian. Oh, great shot by Guardian. Managing to take out Doshia there. Lovely work with his AWP. He's really impressed me so far. He's still doing great work on 7 and 3. Edward has actually only died once. He's 12 and 1 at the second. So still... The momentum slightly in favour of Navi, I would have to say. Let's see if they can keep this one up. It's a 4 on 5 situation. Yep, Guardian just uh, has his all eyes on apps at the moment. The T's yet to really decide on which bomb site they want to push. The bomb is, of course, A sided at the moment. And here we go, a little connection problem, but we are back. Angel, oh, spots the head of Edward. And is that going to be the first of many? Starrick says no. And Adren's going to try and take out Guardian here. But Zeus with that order sniper doing what the order sniper does there which is of course demolishing opponents two versus three guardian starix and seized still remain for the cts whilst markaloff and kucher alive for the terrorists can markaloff use his knowledge of uh, starix to perhaps grind out this round guardian with one starix with the other and finally navi getting around number eight on the board yeah, indeed, and guys, I apologise, I'm going to look at the chat again and there's loads of people saying about the microphone situation. I do apologise, literally we've just set this up. I pretty much moved my setup into a different room about half an hour ago, so I do apologise if things aren't in the greatest position. A lot of people saying Karnite to up his mic and me to lower mine. So That's we will sort it out, we do apologise. I'm pretty much sitting about half a metre, if not more, away from the screen and my microphone just to try and get it out for you. I've got a good microphone, so it's, it's hopefully not a bad quality one, but we will sort it out for you guys. We do apologize if it really is annoying you. We will make sure that we get it sorted a bit later on, but we're gonna carry on with the game. Steve's pushing through again. He's gonna get taken out this time by Doshia. Headshot with the, um, that's with the Galio. Guardian and Edward have managed to get one. Guardian with his second kill with the orb in this round. Is he gonna be able to get taken down? Yes, he does. Adren getting one. He is gonna be able to pick up two. Now it's a one versus two. Zeus, last one left alive against Markov and Adren. He's got that auto sniper. It looks like the bomb's going to go down. And he's going to be made aware of that. So is Adren going to spot him? Markov is just next to him as well. It seems he has been spotted. Is he going to be able to pick up anybody? No, Markov picks him up. Great teamwork coming in from the Hellraiser squad there. Strong round from them once again. 8-2 to two is still the score though. Navi with a 6 round lead heading into the 11th round. Yeah, Mirage is normally considered to be somewhat of a 50-50 sided map. But uh, let's just wait and see how uh, it develops. Hellraiser's... The good news for them is that Markalov finally has that big green gun, finally has the AWP, and let's see whether he can put it into good use for Hellraisers. So, the terrorists all eyes on mid at the moment. Oh, and there we go, Guardian, who of course is um, pretty much Markalov's nemesis with the AVP, getting first blood. And Hellraisers, it's really not looking healthy for them at the moment. Caesar's been holding house or apps or whatever you want to call it with ease adren changing his mind going back towards the a bomb site he's got to pick up that bomb in t-spawn and a very very slow round coming in at the moment hell raises they probably need a bit of time to you know catch their breath because navi have been all guns blazing so far this game and Zeus is going to fall back. He's expecting Kusher or someone to be coming from underground and does deal a bit of damage. Markalov disposes of them smokes and flashes. And here we go. Are we finally going to see something from Hellraisers? Are they finally going to live up to their name and start raising a little bit of hell? Let's just wait and find out. 35 seconds left on the clock. Dodgy, the man on your screen. Sees still playing that apartment's position at the second, but nobody's going to be near him at the second whatsoever. It looks like this is going to be an A push, but Zeus is going to be able to take down one. Adren gets the revenge onto Guardian, but Starix is there to pick up Adren, leaving Dozier and Markalov the last one left alive. But it doesn't matter. Navi too strong on the CT side. They only managed to take down one casualty, which was Guardian going down. 
So, uh, but you know, that was that was a really interesting round there from Hellraisers, I have to say, because they took that so slow. They finally committed to A, but Navi were just like, you can, you know, stay as slow as you want. It doesn't make any difference to us. We're going to shut you out anyway. Took them down in fashion once again, extending their lead once again to seven rounds in total. Nine two is the score. Heading into the 12th round, once again, Hellraisers are going to have to eco pistols all around the board. Guardian still got his orb. See if he's going to be able to pick up anybody off the start. But Zeus manages to get the first one onto Angel there. Doshi is going to get spotted at the top, taken down with a headshot. From Starry, Edward picking up Adren as well. Puts from Markloff. That's it after live. Once again, Markloff after live. And, ooh, he actually is able to pick up one kill there. But still, this just really isn't looking good for Hellraisers. Once again, the fan favourites in the chat of Na'Vi looking so impressive after the first 12 rounds. Yeah, Na'Vi looks strong, very strong. And, of course, Markloff managed to get that consolation kill towards the end of the last round. But he gave away his position. And Na'Vi used the weapon advantage which they had and made him pay the price. Now, Markloff has finally got his hands on the AWP. And it took Hellraisers absolutely nowhere. Of course, guys, we know it ain't a one-man team. But that all went to waste. And Dozier, as you can see, is still on that pistol. Hellraisers, they're very, very low on cash. And to be fully honest, it looks very, very good for Navi. Where are the terrorists going? They're going all guns blazing. There's the Stampede of Terrorists prepared to push in to this A-bomb site. Starix is in trouble. Starix will go down. And there we go, Dozier using the pistol to his advantage, and the CTs in Navi are one man down. Guardians holding that angle with the orb. Oh, an angle! Angel with the shot, Adren with the other, and it's easy peasy for Hellraisers, finally with their third round on the board. And in the previous rounds where they haven't really done too well, they've been taking it so slow, perhaps slightly overthinking it. In this round, they went balls deep into the A-bomb site. They went straight in there, didn't waste any time whatsoever, and they've won the round, Chewy. Yeah, they have indeed, and Kutcher, actually, I was having a look at the scoreboard before then, he got a 2k in that last round, which is more kills than he's got in the entire game so far. So, you know, strong round coming in from him in terms of respect of how he's been doing overall in this game, getting uh, double the amount of kills that he's got so far in the entire game. We'll see if he can pick up his game. He's on 3 and 11 at the second. Edward, though, Onto the 40th round, he's the man on the screen, using an n 4 one he's going to be able to pick up a Dren there off the start, so the initial pick coming in for Na'Vi, are they going to be able to close out the round, they've been doing so well, you know, just closing out rounds in fashion, and but Starx is going to get taken down, Zeus is getting taken down as well, Dozia with two kills in a row, is he going to find the third, yes he is indeed, that's Guardian going down, and as soon as I say that Na'Vi are able to close things out in fashion, they've actually put themselves in the spot of bother at the second. It's Hellraiser looking very strong. Sees though with the shot onto Dozier through the uh, through the object. I don't know what that was actually, but here we go. Three glass went off the line. Ten to four is your score. Heading into the final round of the half. Hellraiser, this is going to be quite an important one for them because although 10-5 is still quite a thing to come back from, it's, uh, it's certainly looking a slight bit better than the earlier rounds, which they were in a, a large amount of trouble. They've, of course, just got to buy everything they can. Kutcher looks like... Oh, he does have an AK, so we have a 5 AK-47 setup from Hellraisers. And uh, Guardian with an AWP, Zeus and Edward M4s, and Starix and Seized on farm action. So are we going to see round number 5 finally pop on the scoreboard for Hellraisers? Only time will tell, but most of the terrorists have headed towards this B bomb site, and Seized is going to be in for the fright of his life. Life. As Adren says, go, 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 let's take this bomb site, and here we go. One of the CTs is hiding somewhere. Is he going to go down? Not just yet, and the T's are lobbing those nades towards Kitchen. They're expecting to, the CTs to start rotating, and now the T's just need to leave a welcome mat on the bomb site and say, look, we got the bomb down, guys. Come at us, bros. Let's see what you're, what you're made of. Five versus four. Looking good for Hellraisers, and Zeus is going to try and rotate from behind, and he will drop Angel. And it's not going to be the first of many. Guardian coming in from short. And wow, Guardian oh. with another, Edward with one, and Dozier, he's all alone, he's on 5 HP, he's going to get two, but two isn't enough. Guardian doesn't have a diffuse kit, does he have enough time? I don't think he does, no, and he it's 10-5 to, hell, to uh, Navi. Oh, wow, that was an incredibly great take there from Navi, unfortunately not enough time on the clock. Edward finishing the half, 19 of 5 with 6 assists to his name, 15 and 9 there for Zeus, great work coming in all across the board. They even Starrys have only got eight kills and eight deaths, still doing the work for his team. So really great half there from Navi, exactly what you'd expect from them. Of course, they are going to be switching over to the T side now. We'll see if they can get six more rounds in quick succession and take it out. 
or uh, whether the guys from Hellraisers are going to be able to come back into the game. And I have to say, Kai Knight, this next pistol round is going to be absolutely crucial, in my opinion, for Hellraisers. If they can take it, and they can you know, maybe then take the next two rounds after that, you may predict, then they're right back in with a shot. They're only two rounds behind Navi. They're going to have that momentum coming into the next round after those three, and we'll see what they can do. So this is such an important round, I would predict here. For Hellraisers, we'll see if they are going to be able to take it. Just switching sides, of course, for you guys. But kind of, you know, apart from just the stats on the scoreboard, who's the standout player there for you? Well, Edward, he's been simply superb with that silenced M4. And the question it has now is, what's he gone and bought? He still has that Glock, so let's see whether he can carry on his form from the last half and uh, pull it off with this Glock. Like you said, I think you hit the nail on the head when you said that if Navi can manage to win this pistol round, um, if, if Hellraiser, sorry, managed to win this pistol round, it'll be game on. But if Navi win this pistol round, make it 12-5 or 13-5, it just might be one step too far for Hellraiser. So the nade is going to go in. Whoa, a lot of nades going into this uh, apps department. Angel with one. Is he going to make it two? Starrick says, not on my watch. And Navi are going all into this bomb site. Starrick spots one, and he will nail him in the head. And very, very good from Navi. And Hellraisers, they just simply, they can't respond to Navi at the moment. Uh, Navi, they've been too good for him, Chewy. Yeah, that was just pure aggression on that B-bombs. Like they committed to it. They were like, right, we're going to go for it straight off the start. We know what's going to happen. We know we're going to be able to take this round. And they did so well. They only lost one player in the mix there. So, ak 47s Galil's coming in for Navi. And I'm not going to say it's GG quite yet, but that was such an important round, as I did say earlier on, for Hellraisers to take. And they, once again, just didn't look like they could hang, pretty much, with Navi. Only managing to get one frag in the pistol round. So they are, once again, for... I don't know how many times it is now that they've been forced down to eco, but it's certainly been a lot. See if they are going to be able to make anything of it, but I have to say, I don't really think they're going to be able to with the force and the momentum that Navi have got coming into the 17th round. 11-5 to 5 is your score. Zeus starting to move forward with that smoke grenade and his Galil in hand. Angel starting to look over the top to see if he can pick anybody up with that flash grenade, seeing what position that's going to be pushing through. Markov, just checking if anybody's going to be pushing through there, but it looks like this is a mid-push coming in from Na'Vi here. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of direction they're going to be going in. It looks like it could be B once again. Oh, she's going to spot something around the corner in a second. It is going to be Edward. It's going to take it out there. Edward with the first pick. He's going to be able to get any more. No, he doesn't. Kutch actually managed to take him out. It's a three on four. How many have been able to take out Zeus? Are they going to be able to keep this one up? Na'Vi are in a lot of trouble suddenly coming up kind of no, it's looking good for him, and there we go. Three versus one, and seized his last man standing. He's got that AK-47, though, and it wouldn't surprise me if he does manage to pull it off. The ex-Navi player in Markov has gone down, and seized will pick up that bomb. He's got one in apps and one on short, and that bomb's going to go down, and the CTs are going to hear it, and Hellraisers have won the deco. Wow, that's... Uh... I wasn't predicting that, and this is exactly why I said I don't want to say GG yet, because this is what's so great about Counter-Strike. This is kind of why I got into this eSport, because stuff like that can just happen at the uh, at the least suspecting times, pretty much. So, of course, now Navi forced down to Eco, Glocks all around the board for them. Not even grenades or anything. Oh, we've got one CZ75 as soon as I say that. Thank you, Starrix, for deciding to troll me. But pretty much full by by the looks of things coming in for uh, the guys over in Hellraisers now. We'll see if... Navi can kind of get the revenge and take an eco round or what's going to happen, but uh, that certainly made things a bit more interesting now. We'll see if Hellraiser stand, can start to come back into this game and mount that comeback. They're five rounds behind here in the 18th round of the second. Got one FAMAS, two AK-47s and two M4A1s, as you can see, for the Hellraiser squad. Which is going to meet somebody down the bottom. There's actually three right below him at the second. Not sure if he spotted all of them. But uh, Edward's been taken down to 19 HP. Kutcher's on 41 HP. Kutcher is going to be able to pick up that kill, though, onto Guardian, making things a 5 on 3 situation in her favour of Hellraisers. Kutcher has that silence M4. And he will drop Starix. And of course, it's all Glock blazing at the moment. Down goes Edward. And down goes Seized. 11 7. Anyone's game at the moment. But I do believe Navi will be able. Yep, they can. They can buy AK 47s. Zeus has opted to go for that uh, Galil. And Guardian, well. He's gone for a scout, so what do you think of that, uh, Chewy? Yeah, interesting buy from him. We'll see if he's going to be able to do any work with it. I mean, he's been performing great with the AWP all game, so why not risk it? Why not go for that SSG 08 and uh, see what work he can do? It looks like he's not going to meet up with anybody for the second, as it's going to be an A push coming in here from Navi. We'll see if they're going to get aggressive on it. 
on the attacking side and see if they're going to be able to meet up with anybody initially those smoke grenades coming in then it is AK-47 he's going to be able to find out one that he's going down but Edward managed to take the revenge kill Markov with two down with the fire mass Kutcher with one taking out Starix Guardian managed to take out Markov though and it's Guardian left in a one versus three that push really was quite crucial for Navi to try and get right off the start didn't work in their favor Hellraiser is looking great on the CT side so far from what we've seen Guardian last one left alive is with full health at the second but he's still got a, a long task ahead of him I'm not sure if they know completely where he is at the second but he is going to get spotted as soon as he comes around that corner x-ray mode showing exactly where he is he's been taking down the 18 HP Josh is going to finish him off 11 to 8 is your score Hellraiser's most definitely mounting the comeback yeah, looking good from Hellraisers. Angel with a silenced M4. Dozier with that AK. Yep, a pretty much five-man rifle set up. And of course, now Chewy, Navi. They uh, they bought up the last round. They've been forced to eco now. And uh, they've only got pistols. So can Navi do what uh, Hellraisers did to them? Let's just wait and find out. Where are Navi heading then? They're pretty much all heading towards the B-bomb site. Barzus is going down mid. He's going to spot one. Deals a little bit of damage to Kucha, but he's still left standing. And Angel will love that grenade, and surely that will dispose of Zeus. No, he will live to fight another day. Angel with the 1M4. Looking good for the CTs, but still anyone's round. And just as I say, that Kucha shuts him down, and Zeus all by himself. He has to come through uh, the apartments. And on 24 HP, Chewy, I don't think he's going to reinvent the wheel. And he most certainly doesn't. 11-9 is the score. And who would have guessed it going in 10-5 uh, to the second half? Yeah, exactly. And as I said earlier on, this is why you don't want to call GG on a game in Counter-Strike pretty much until that final scoreboard comes up because anything can happen. I've seen some crazy comebacks recently with the, with the matches that I've been watching in various different tournaments. And this looks like it could be another great example of a comeback. Two rounds is the difference now. I believe there was about a seven, eight round difference between the two squads earlier on, but Hellraisers have really picked their game. And I'm just going to have a look at the scoreboard overall and see what's going on. Markolov is 9 and 15, but wow, Kutcher, he was about 0 and 11, I think, something around that. And now he's 11 and 15, so he's really picked up his game with dramatic form. Edward's still having a great game so far. He's been a standout player, 23 and 9. Markolov is going to get the initial pick, though, onto Zeus, and it looks like Guardian's gone down as well. So this looks like this could be another strong round for Hellraisers. Are they going to be able to get into double figures? So he's just going to try and stop them though. He takes out Koshia. He's going to be able to get the second. Yes, he does. Headshot onto a thread, making him look three on three. He's going to spot one and dispose of him with ease, doing exactly what we know what he's capable of. But Starrick still has that bomb on his back. And where is he going? Well, he's going to push up mid, and uh, Angel will spot Edward. He's heard him drop down, but he's all eyes on short. He's changed his mind. And it's Angel. Edward will land the headshot as he nails one in the head, nails two in the head, and Markoloff is all alone. It's Starrick versus Markoloff, the old 1.6 duo, and Starrick gets the better of Markoloff. 12-9. 12-9 it is indeed. It looked like Hellraisers were going to be able to take that and as I said get into double figures and make it that one round difference but wasn't the case whatsoever. Navi round coming in from them showing their resilience right now. They're four rounds away from being able to take this best of one series against Hellraisers here on Mirage. 12-9 is your score as we do say. Still full by coming in from both teams. Looks of things. Dossier is trying to spray through the ball there with his M4A1. Throwing those grenades into apartments as well to try and stop any pushes. Bombs in mid at the second. Markov's going to meet up with somebody knocking Starrix down to 8 HP initially, then finishing off with the spray. Starrix going down with me. The Hellraisers have got that man advantage. As soon as I say that though, Zeus gets down. Zeus, sorry, takes down Markov. Edwards goes down though, and this is looking great for Hellraisers. Zeus down to 10 HP. Seized still with 100 HP, but he's in a tricky situation. The bomb is right in the middle of the map. Dodgy is going to take out Seeds. Last one left alive is going to be Zeus. But Hellraisers, although they lost that last round, which maybe they shouldn't have, they're starting to bring things back once again. And they are going to be able to get themselves into trouble. But if they can pick up that last kill, and there we go, they do indeed. 12-10 is your score. Yeah, it just goes to show how this game can catapult from Navi being comfortable winners to now 12-10. Who would have guessed that we would have gone into the second half with Navi being 10-5 in the lead? I probably wouldn't have guessed it, but this is Counter-Strike, guys. This is what we uh, all grow up to love about it. It's, that it's still anybody's game at any given point during a match. But Navi, of course, being forced to eco with those Glocks and the CTs are uh, pretty much all in regarding uh, their finances. They've got four rifles and uh, a sniper rifle which is in the hands of Kucha.
so where the T's going? The bomb is outside of this A bomb site, and Zeus is. Oh, Adren's looking right at Zeus, and Adren will dispose of him. And it's two from Adren, and he's pretty much got a herd of terrorists coming his way. Markolov joining in on the action, and Adren says, Thank you very much. That's it for me. Yep, Adren with three, and uh, Angel managing to pick up one there as well. So 12 11 is your score, and as we said earlier, who would have predicted this? Hellraiser's coming in strong, and it looked like the fan. And favorite earlier one was Navi, but are people going to be predicting that Hal Razors are going to take this one? Please tell us in the chat. Let us know who you think is going to be able to finish off this game. 12 11 is your score. Only one round of difference between the two squads. Navi have been able to buy it. They've got head armor, they've got AK 47s, uh, two Galils in there as well. Not many grenades to help them out though at all. So the advantage is still in favor of Hal Razors, and that's going to help even more. Although Zeus does get the revenge kill, Star is taken down, Angel getting taken down as well. It's a 4-on-4 four four situation. That bomb, once again, looks like it's going to be heading towards B at the minute. And most of the Hellraiser's players are actually on A. So now we need to start to make a move. Try and get in on that bomb site as soon as possible. And this is the thing that I found really, you know, from what I've watched of Navi so far, is when they get aggressive and they really start to commit to something, they do really well, but their playing is so slow right now. And I think, in some respects, that may be their downfall. But that's just my opinion. You never know. Well, let's see whether your opinion ends up becoming the true reality. Dozier's all by himself, and he's going to take down one and give Adren time to rotate back around and get a bit of the action. It's two versus four. Dozier's going to go aggressive, and he's going to drop Zeus. And Edward all by himself. He will get a drink, but surely it's only going to be a consolation. Dozier lobbing that flash. The bomb has been picked up by Edward, and he says, Thank you very much. I'm going to run round the back, and Edward, are we going to see the impossible happen? It was four versus one, and it's two versus one now, and Edward is running towards this A bomb site, and he wants to get the bomb down, and he will get the bomb down. Kucha with the AWP. He will lob that smoke. Oh, and there we go. Kucha coming in, timing it to perfection. Edward got the bomb down, which is a plus for Navi, but we are going to see this game tied at 12-12. 12-12 it is, and that was a great little split there from Doshia and Kutcher, of course, splitting up and being able to make sure that they had eyes on different angles onto that bomb site. They knew exactly the, where he was going to be going. The bomb was planted. He was taken down pretty much exactly as that final number came up on the bomb plan, and then you know the defuse came in in quick fashion as well. So it's all even here, heading into the 25th round. Are we going to be heading to overtime? Uh, I have a feeling that there's a good chance of that, which will be very, very interesting indeed. So, Arkelov, again, using his M4, going to see what's going to happen. It looks like the bomb's going to be heading towards A. It's going to be slow again there. You've got two players from Navi over towards that B side at the second, so maybe they're just waiting to try and get an initial pick and then make a move. It looks like they may pretty much be committing towards A at the second, though. Edward is going to get taken down there to 2 HP. Star is down to 15 as well. So already Navi in a tricky spot. They're going to have to go right back to the spawn that player is. Looks like they're still going to try and commit to A. Zeus is going to get flashed and smoked in his face as well. Adrenaline in a great position below scaffolds at the second. Hellraisers are looking so strong here on the CT side. I thought Navi took a great CT side, but Hellraisers are really starting to impress me. And there we go. Zeus getting taken down. Edward and Starix, the last two left alive. 17 HP combined between them. He's going to go down. That Starix has gone. Edward last left alive. Oh, he's going to be able to get... Oh, he does get two there. And he's going to get taken out in the end. But still, two great kills on two HP. Let's get finished off. And for the first time in the entire game, Hellraisers have taken the lead. Easy annihilation for Hellraisers. You mentioned earlier on about Navi perhaps being slightly too slow in their approach. And I agree. I think you remember in the last half where Hellraisers had a very slow approach. And then they just went all in and pushed that A-bomb site. And they took their opposition by surprise. And it paid off for them. So are we going to see that uh, come from Navi? They are, of course, on an eco. And Kutcher will go aggressive at mid. He's going to get one with that aggressive AWP shot. He will get two. But AWP director says, no, Kai and I, I want to show you a Dren for now. Easy, easy, but Guardian will get that kill, and surely not, surely not. We saw Edward almost pull the clutch up earlier on. Surely Guardian ain't going to do it with just a P250. I'm a source person myself, and I know how good he used to be back in the source days. That nade is going to get lobbed over, and Kucha blows into smithereens. 14-12, and my word, who would have guessed it, Chewie? Who would have guessed it?
Yeah, this is why I love Counter Strike. This is exactly why I got into this esport just a couple of months ago, and exactly the reason why I wanted to start casting it because of games like this where the comeback has to come on. And now we've still got a close game on our hands. I mean, Navi are able to buy here. Pretty much a full buy coming in from what I can see overall from both squads. So this is going to be an important one for Navi, of course. This is a you know an important round for both teams because if Hellraiser can pick up that 50th round, that pretty much almost guarantees them the win in some respects or at least overtime if uh, that's the worst case scenario coming in for them. So Navi, let's see what work they can do. Looks like we've got Seized over here onto that bomb site as well. And I think Edward's actually joining in, although he is going to rotate back into spawn and head towards A. And it's going to see if this slow push comes in and whether it's going to pay off for them. You know, from what I've seen so far, it's not really paid off to their advantage too much, so we'll see if they can do it now. Angel just starting to look towards the middle, seeing if anybody's going to be coming from underground, but it doesn't look like anybody is right now. And there we go. Starrix starting to try and push in, aiming towards the top of the stairs there. Still a slow round. Got 51 seconds left on the top. Nobody's been taken out. As soon as I do say that, though, Zeus gets taken out. Edward managed to take out Markov. All the frags coming in. All of a sudden, Guardian and Seas. Last two left alive. Guardian gets taken down. Seized is the last one left alive. He's got so much work to do. Kutcher takes him out with the AWP. Hellraiser's coming back from an absolutely massive deficit in the first half. And then, you know, it was, I mean, it was a five round deficit at the end of the first half, but there was one point where I believe they're about eight, seven rounds down. Now they are three rounds up. Let's have a look at the scoreboard heading into the 28th round. Adren, 20 to 18. Great work coming in from him. Consistent scores all around the board. Edward still doing very well. He's actually dropped 30 kills so far. Guardian's going to be able to take out Kutcher, though. That's a strong first pick. Let's see if they can continue that motivation and try and take this to overtime. Hellraisers are going to try and take this one out there as soon as possible. Doesn't look like it may happen here in the 28th round. It's Angel, Angel, Joshua, and Adren are the last three left alive. And, uh, Adren, sorry, getting taken down to 48 HP. Let's see what work they can do. And Adren on this A bomb site, and the T's, they're tracking him down, but Adren will get the headshot, and it's three versus two. Advantage Hellraisers, they need one more round, guys, and they will win this game. They'll bring it back from being 10 5 down. So let's wait out and see how it unfolds. Guardian has that AWP, which is quite hard to maneuver with, but 50 seconds and counting, plenty of time remaining for the terrorists, but. Now it's Guardian. He's all by himself. Where are you, Guardian? He's stood in apps, but we know he's capable of it. I remember days when Guardian would pull off five-man clutches with the AWP. But is this asking too much of him? Angel's going to peek him. Guardian with one. And it's is this going to be the start of many kills? The flashes go out. The smokes go out. And 25 seconds and counting. Kucha says GG. Oops, sorry. A bit of trolling from him. And 20 <laughs> seconds to go. Guardian, come on. I know you're capable of doing it. Angel has his crosshair on Guardian. And there we have it. The comeback is complete. 16-12 is your score, ladies and gents. And who would have guessed it? I keep saying it, but who would have guessed it? 10-5. Yeah. And Chewie, you were talking about this is why we love Counter-Strike. Anything can happen. And... Uh, despite Edwards' absolute dominance, 30 kills, 17 deaths. It still wasn't enough to rescue the Ukrainians, and uh, the Hellraisers most certainly raised hell. Yep, they did indeed. And Kutcher, I believe at one point he was 1-11, in 11, around about that mark as well. I'm not quite sure on the official stat. I'll have a look at that again. But 18-18 and 18 he finished, so he really did pick up his game. 22 frags coming in there for Adren, the top fragger for Hellraisers. I've got to give it up to Edward, though. 30-15 to 15 with 6 assists was his final score, but it just wasn't enough. His performance wasn't enough to carry Navi through there. Hellraiser's mount one hell of a comeback. Did think after those first couple of rounds that they could take it. And I mean, the real switching point there for me was that eco that they took. I thought that it was almost pretty much GG when it was 11-5. And when Navi managed to get that first pistol round of the second half there. But suddenly out of absolutely nowhere, with no momentum going their side whatsoever, the guys from Hellraiser's just took advantage and, uh, you know, and I, I don't know how they managed to pull it off that, pi that pistol round, but uh, sorry, that eco round, but they performed amazingly from pretty much then onwards. And after that, you know, eco win, Navi actually only managed to get one round on the board after that. So uh, phenomenal.